happy Saturday to everybody out there. Uh, this is Craig at Stumpy Grump Scale Speed Shop, and I got a, just a quick little update on what's been going on uh, during the week with my 1994 AMT Chevy Camaro Z28 convertible. And a quick little update on the MPC 1979 Trans Am. It's still sitting in LA is totally awesome. It's not really touching it much. The clear uh, underneath the hood where I didn't spray the clear, it's coming off pretty good. So if I didn't have the clear on it, the LA is totally awesome would, would have stripped the Tamiya paint and the testers paint underneath that pretty well, but it's not touching the clear. I did a test on some 91% isopropyl alcohol and it did take it off the shaker scoop and the mirrors. So probably the 1st of October when I can get some more of that. I don't have enough to strip the body with right now. So um, I have a, a quick uh, color update on that one coming up at the end of this video as well. So let's get things turned around and get you going on the update. Okay, so Wednesday I sprayed the primer on all the parts, uh, the body, and most of the parts on the sprues I left on the sprues I did in touch and tone gray primer uh, I sprayed this out in the shed I took advantage of some nice weather here at the end of September and figured I'd save on some of my Steiner res and, and I used the touch and tone um, really nice primer um, these pieces are just like really really smooth hardly any texture at all very smooth so it laid down really nice really really nice um, so I did that on Wednesday. I, I, some of the parts that I took off the sprues and some of the other parts, I used black for the suspension parts and stuff. I'm going to paint black anyways, the Steiner res, and then I used the gray Steiner res for a few other smaller pieces that I took off the sprue and everything like that, like the, you know, some of these little pieces, the heads and the engine and stuff like that. I did in gray Steiner res, not that much. So that was Wednesday. Thursday, basically all I did is I took some pieces off the sprue and sprues, and then I, you know, I put the engine halves together, did a little stuff like that to prepare for, for painting. So yesterday, that was Thursday. Um, today, Friday, I sprayed pretty much all the colors on the black for all the suspension pieces and that. The lower body piece, stuff like that. I used Anita's galvanized tin, which looks like a steel color to me for the exhaust, all the exhaust parts. Once again, back to the semi-gloss black for the dashboard. The center console. The steering wheel and the shifter. And the valve covers here. The starter and the air, air conditioning compressor and all that. I did that in gloss black, semi-gloss black. Oil pan. And I did the engine in Anita's galvanized tin, and I used a, a, a custom mixture to try to get aluminum look for the transmission. I think I had a little bit of overspray from the engine on it, but no big deal. Like the intake and the aluminum color and the heads, disc brakes, stuff like that. Then I sprayed the seats in Apple Barrel Country Gray, the lighter gray. I sprayed everything in that. And then I taped off the inserts, the insides of the seats, and then sprayed Apple Barrel Pewter Gray for the darker gray. I did that for the seats. 
or the camera going everywhere here. And the interior carpet area, pure gray as well. And the door panels. I'm going to tape off and paint this part here in a darker color to match the dash. Not black, but I'll probably do have a color called pavement. That looks pretty nice. Be a nice little contrast to that. Or a darker gray. That's what that is. And I'll do some detailing with the speakers and stuff like that. And the hatch area. Pewter gray as well. And of course the inside of the interior where the transmission tunnel and stuff on the other side is the firewall that'll get body color. Tomorrow I will get the Folk Art Blue Topaz sprayed on the body. And then this thing will really be rolling. I'll be doing some detail painting as well. So So that's where we'll sit in right now and we'll probably show you what the body looks like tomorrow. Okay, so I got the topaz done on the C28 here. There's about five, maybe six coats. Starting light and building it up a little bit. We got the firewall done. So that's where we're sitting on that one right now. Maybe get the clear on it Monday. We'll see. And then finish painting and detailing the interior and such. Okay, and I also was messing around with some spoons for the 79 Trans Am when I get that one stripped and ready to repaint, seeing if I could get a, a color set for it. And, okay, what I did is I took some Tamiya X27 Clear Red, thinned it out, put it in my airbrush, and I figured I'd take, see, take a look at it, see what it'll look like over some base coats. The first one. I only did a couple coats, galvanized tin. I could see that it wasn't going to give me the, the color I was after. That's the galvanized tin. The second one, I did a metallic red mixed with a little bit of black. Um, that darkened a bit. I still only went a couple of coats because it was looking like uh, another test on here so I only did a couple coats of that the third one which is getting really close to what I wanted was the clear red over my shuttle art burgundy but the one I really really liked this was going to be the color this is the clear red over the shuttle art flash black that's really this is exactly what I'm after to begin with and just for good measure I did another one over some flash black mixed with folk art pure black just an opaque black to darken it up a little bit and I got this barely tell really really deep deep black cherry i got a got an idea for that one now too but but over the flash black gonna give me the color i'm after so when i get the the trans am stripped i can get it repainted i got a got a game plan going with that one now this sh should give my deep darker red than what i even had before so
looking forward to get going on that again. But also this kind of tells you a little bit what your base coat can do to change the color of anything. Um, you don't have to use a clear for this or anything like that even just your your like your tamiya metallics are are thin and transparent enough to to really be affected by base coat so pretty cool pretty cool but with that i'm going to say thanks for watching stumpy grump scale speed shop and uh have a great rest of the weekend I'll see you next week.